Coming up this week, we check out what's on offer in the popular village of Castleton. We take a drive up one of the most scenic roads in the Peak District. We hit the trails for some downhill fun. Oh yeah, and this happens. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you are new around here, my name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we've come out to Castleton in the Peak District. So today uh, we're starting off the vlog here in Cavedale, which is an ancient limestone gorge which was carved out by ancient glacial waters a long, long time ago. Uh, and now it's just this super stunning limestone gorge. And I think it's part of the... Yeah, it's it? situated on the limestone way, so if you're taking that walk, then you'll come across Cavedale. Yeah, it's a very popular walking route. Um, and obviously up at the top as well, there's got uh, Peveril Castle, um, which is looking down over Castleton. That's something else that you can come and do if you visit here. Uh, but we're going to make our way down through Cavedale, down into Castleton, and give you a little tour. <laughs> So we think the reason why it's called Cavedale is because there are lots of uh, caves kind of dotted around the place that you can go and explore. Turns out one of the main reasons it's called Cavedale is it's actually due to large caverns directly below Cavedale and we'll go and check those out later. The more noticeable feature of Cavedale is, of course, Peveril Castle. These imposing 11th century ruins dominate Castleton's skyline, and the castle is actually one of the oldest Norman fortresses in England. Tickets for the castle can be purchased online and will cost you around £8.90 per adult. Right, so we're now leaving Cavedale. Uh, I will say it's nice and cool through here, so if you're ever on a hot day, this is the place to come. Uh, but we're going to head down now into Castleton Village and give you guys a little tour. So for those of you who have not ever been to Castleton, uh, it's one of the more popular destinations here in the Peak District. Uh, it's, there's a reason that it made uh, the number one on our top 10 Peak District destinations. Uh, and up to 2 million people actually visit this place every year. So if you've not been, you're missing out. <music> So because Castleton is so popular, uh, it's normally incredibly busy, um, so there's no real good time to come, but 
we've come late on a Sunday evening. Uh, it's very, very warm, but it's sort of unseasonably quiet. Uh, there's not really anyone here, and there's lots of nice little quiet bits, uh, just like this. So if you're looking for the postcard version of the UK, Castleton is the place to be. So along with all the charming little cottages and the stunning surrounding scenery, uh, Castleton's also famous uh, for something else. So Castleton is famous for its cavern system and it has a total of four caves, uh, including one that you can go in boats underground. So we're now approaching uh, Peak Cavern and it's one of the bigger show caves here in Castleton and it's so big that it has fantastic acoustics and it's a live music venue. You can come here at Christmas and listen to Christmas carols. Um, and even concerts. Yeah, full size concerts. So if you're looking for a unique venue, Peak Cavern is the place for you. Right, we're starving, uh, so we're about to get something to eat because we're going to need the energy. And you've probably seen a thumbnail of what we're about to do next. So, uh, there are plenty of parking options available in Castleton, there's a few car parks, but if you head towards Winnets Pass, there's some dedicated roadside parking with great views of Winnets Pass. So this is Winnets Pass, a huge limestone gorge that serves as the grand windy entrance to Castleton. And it's quite possibly one of the most scenic roads in all of the Peak District. Well, we've come up close to Mamtor and we found a gorgeous spot uh, for a bike to eat. We're going to get all fueled up and then we're going to get kitted up. And we're going to start the second part of this vlog. So most people, when they come to Castleton and this area of the Peak District, they're here for one of a couple of things. Uh, it's normally walking and hiking, or they might even come here and do a bit of mountain biking. We've opted to do something kind of in the middle. We've picked up a pair of these. So 
So yeah, check these things out. Uh, didn't even know that this was a thing until a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but we wanted to try something a little bit different, a little bit unique for the channel. So we picked up off-road scooters. Uh, we picked up some Osprey scooters, uh, found them on Amazon. Um, they weren't massively cheap, but they're definitely cheaper than a mountain bike and they fit in the back of the car, so that's a win for us. So this is Rushup Edge, a huge ridge line that splits Hope Valley and Edale down the middle. And this stunning location will serve as the starting point for our route today. Right, so we've come up Rushup Edge. The sun is going down, the whole valley is looking stunning. Uh, we've not come all the way up Rushup Edge. Uh, if you can look behind me, I think that's Lord's Seat. That's the tallest bit. I'm not going that high for today, uh, but we have planned out a full route now, uh, speaking of routes, uh, we finally picked up uh, an OS map. Uh, you're gonna need one of these if you wanna navigate the Peak District. It's gonna show you a lot more information than maybe Google Maps will. So this is Rushup Edge, and this is where we are right now. And as you can see, there's a, a nice big dotted green line. These long green lines are a bridleway. So uh, with a bridleway, you get different types of access. Um, regular footpaths, obviously you can only walk and you should only walk on regular footpaths uh, that are marked in and around the Peak District. But on a bridleway, you can actually cycle. I think you can even bring your horse. I think they were originally actually designed for horses. Um, so we're gonna be okay on our scooters for this. So we've mapped out a cheeky little route uh, on the bridleways that we can find up here on Rushup Edge. We're gonna head down and over towards Mamtor and wrap around it. And then it's gonna join up with the Great Ridge as well. Uh, and we'll tell you all about the route as we get along it. Right, we are slowly being eaten alive by ants up here, flying ants, big ones. So we're gonna start this route and let's get cracking. <laughs> Right, that was a tricky section. Uh, we've just come round the back of Mamtor and frankly we couldn't do uh, scootering on all of it. We did have to do a bit of walking. Um, but now we've come back over the top and you can see uh, Baktor uh, behind us in the distance and Holland's Cross. Now we did have a much bigger plan, a uh, much bigger route planned for today. Um, but as you've seen, the sun has uh, very quickly disappeared and it's gonna get dark pretty soon. Um, so we're probably gonna get down to at least Holland's Cross uh, and see what the route looks like from there. Right guys, we are gonna leave it there for today. The sun has long gone. We didn't quite make it to Holland, Holland's Cross, so maybe next time. Yeah, uh, it's definitely got a bit dark. The moon has literally come out uh, and we're still on the Great Ridge. Yeah. Um, it's so like 10 to 10 right now and it's like really dark. We've turned the brightness up on the camera so you probably can't tell. It's probably a bit grainy, um, but maybe next time we'll get a little bit further. So we are gonna 
get ourselves back home, get back to the car. Um, we'll catch you guys back in the studio. Right guys, we are now back home in our uh, mini studio. Um, we had a fantastic time out in Castleton. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed it as well. Um, we lost the light pretty quickly there at the end. Uh, the moon came out pretty fast. Um, th the reason being, it just takes a while to film. Um, it was an interesting experience for us. We've never filmed anything like that before. There was a lot of picking up the camera, sticking it down on the side, riding past it on scooters, picking the camera back up again, setting up another shot. So there's quite a bit of work involved, um, but, but we enjoyed it and we had a good time. Yeah, and uh, as for the scooters, we really enjoyed going out and about on those. Uh, they're really easy to pack up and put in the back of the car, which was a bonus for us because we've got a very small car. Um, yeah. But I'd say one of the harder things was actually some of the trails probably was a bit more applic applicable to uh, mountain bikes so we did get stuck in a couple of places yeah, we did. Uh, maybe come off a couple of times but uh, for the most part we really enjoyed it and we might try out a couple more trails so if you've got yeah. any suggestions just uh, let us know. Any uh, trails uh, in and around the Peak District uh, that have made for slightly smaller tires, yeah. <laughs> they will be fine. Uh, if you guys like the look of those scooters, um, we've actually left direct links in the description to Amazon and they are affiliate links as well. So if you did buy anything from Amazon, you're also supporting the channel because yeah. we'll actually get a tiny cut from Amazon for those as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces and you want to see more content just like this from the Peak District, hit that subscribe button as well. And hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace. Four cabins that you can visit. Thank I'm you. speaking. I'm on camera. So Castleton is famous for its caves. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Who's having my drink? <laughs>